We've been launching things and people into space since 1957. Satellites for your favourite programmes, spacecraft to explore the unknown, people to take our first steps. And in the more than 60 years of space exploration, we've managed to leave behind around 170 million bits of junk. To give you a sense of just how big the problem is, take a look at this graph from scientists at the University of Texas. These orange dots are functioning satellites orbiting the Earth every day. Everything else, the sea of pink, the blue, is debris junk basically. Some of it's tiny, some of it's as big as a bus. All of it's hurtling around the earth at speeds in excess of 27,000 kilometres an hour, crisscrossing at different orbits and on a potential collision course with the things and people that we want up there. Scientists warn it has the potential to create a string of catastrophic, even unstoppable collisions that could render parts of space unusable. NASA scientist Donald Kessler first identified the scenario 30 years ago. Scientists have been trying to come up with ways to clean up after ourselves ever since. Kessler predicted that when the population density of space debris reaches a certain point, it will start to collide with itself and start to multiply by itself. And we're, we're seeing the beginnings of that. We're seeing an increase in the number of satellite collisions, so we're up to three or four a year now. The best minds on the planet in this domain think we have another 10 years. We could be very lucky and have 20 years uh, or 25. We could be very unlucky and it could happen tomorrow. Scientists are making progress with innovative ways to clear the clutter, but none of it's ready to launch just yet. That's where a new use of well-established laser technology comes in. A team in Australia, working with experts from around the world, is preparing to fire high-powered lasers to blast space debris away to a safer orbit. Yes, it is rather cool using super high-powered lasers to gently nudge, and I emphasise gently, gently nudge uh, space debris from one orbit to another. We don't have the solution for space debris now, but we have the means to reduce the scale of the problem and defer the, the doomsday event so we get more time. Space-based laser technology dates back to the 1970s and now has a myriad of applications that already make a real difference to us down here on Earth. But it's this latest use of laser ranging technology to clean up the cosmic junkyard around our planet that's capturing global attention. It's the biggest cleanup effort ever seen in this corner of the universe, at least. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.